Hello YouTube and welcome to App Tutorial Series. In this lesson, we are going to learn about Adobe Spark Post, which is a designing application from Adobe for mobile devices. So I'm going to go over here on to my Spark Post icon right here. I'm going to tap it and you can see that the Spark Post app opens up. And once the app opens up, you uh, immediately uh, see the different templates that you can use to start designing. So let's see what there are uh, as options in this app right here. So on the top left side, there's the hamburger icon. And if you were to tap that out, you can see that you can go for the settings and everything just like that. So let me just go back, tap back just like that and see uh, what the template actually provides now. So over here, uh, if you want to use the templates, you can use the featured templates, which are um, which may be free and premium templates. Uh, just to keep, just keep in mind that the uh, icon, the yellow icon right over here, are the premium templates. So if you were to tap on this, you can see that it says upgrade to remix the template, meaning you have to get the um, a premium subscription to use these kind of templates. So let me just get back, and the um, anyone without. Uh, that icon right over here, that uh, yellow bars over there are free to use. So you can simply click on remix the template and you'll be able to edit those templates. So you can search for different type of templates right over here uh, from the uh, top menu of categories as you can see. And um, all of them have a combination of premium and free templates that you can use. You can also use this top right hand corner search menu to actually search for templates if you wish to. Let me just get back because I'm not going to search for any templates. So I'm not going to use any template in this lesson. I'm just going to create everything from scratch. So let me go over here onto my post. On the bottom section, you can see that you're on templates right now. But if I were to go to my post, you'll be able to see all of the designs that you uh, specifically make. So on the bottom right hand side, you can see the plus icon right there. So if you are to tap on the plus icon, you can see that it actually uh, opens up a free photo service. So um, if you are connected to, to the web, you'll be searching, you know, you'll be seeing some free photos, but I'm not going to search that out. I'm just going to use the gallery right here. You can also use solid color if you don't want to use photos. And if you want to use photos, you can tap on photos right over here and you'll get access to your gallery. In my case, I'm just going to use a photo in my library just like this. Tap on the photo you want. Even two photos is okay. So I'm going to tap this one and I'm going to tap this one right over here. You can also scroll down to see more photos. So I'm going to tap those two photos as you can see. And once you do that, you can just press add and the photos will be added just like this and you'll be able to move the photo around just tap the photo move around and move around the photo tap and move around so over here you can see that you can go around and click any one of the templates that you want to use so you want to go for the youtube thumbnail you can go here linkedin and so forth you can also go to custom and you'll be able to define the within height in my case i'm going to go for custom itself so i can lock or unlock this so if I were to actually type in something like 300, you can see that the lock is on. That means the aspect ratio is locked on. So uh, whatever pixel you type is actually typed here. So I'm going to unlock that. And let's say I want to have around 1000 by 1000. So it's a perfect square, uh, just like that. Very good for Instagram posts and so forth. So if I were to go over here on to pixels you can also change the value right over here into millimeter into inch and so forth and you can enter the value according to it so i'm just going to go into pixel and i'm going to press done just like that so it is a perfect square and once you're happy with the type of effect that you have you can just press the done uh, on the top right and there you go you have it so once you open up uh, the editor you can see that there's a uh, fairly a good amount of options right over here there's an option to actually add things to design things uh, uh, to work with palettes resize layout effects and so forth so let us go over here uh, from uh, the bottom right hand side that is the effects. so if i were to click on the effects you can see that there's some animations that you can work with so you can see that the double tap to edit text is actually very very still so you can choose from one of these effects to actually animate the text so i'm just going to go over here and click on something like 
this one so there's a bit of an animation to the text going on just like that so let's select the text that you want to animate and press done and that's it you can also go to effects and over here let's go to uh, the looks right here where you can apply different filters onto the photo of your choice so if i were to go over here you can see that you can apply filters onto both photos according to what you want you can also go over here and tap on this icon multiple times to get different effects so you can go for matte you can go for uh, multiply and so forth just like this so just go for the effect that you want and there you go on the right hand side you can also see blur so you can increase the blurriness of the picture right over here so if you were to increase it you can see the left side picture the left picture is really get, getting blurred uh, along with the right side as well so effects get gets applied on both of the pictures so you can increase the level of blur or decrease it so if you want a blurry background to work with then you can actually work around with that just like that i don't want any blur so i'm just going to cancel it so once you're happy with the animation effect and so forth i'm just going to press done and it goes back Notice that you don't see any animations here. Uh, just press the play button right here and you'll see the animation. Pause, tap it again and it'll pause. So over here, we worked around with the effects. Now let's work around with the layout. So let me tap on the layout right here. And here you can actually select the type of layout you want to add in pictures to. So let's add in a 50-50 and just tap that out. And if you were to tap it again, the picture swaps as you can see. So you can tap this and there's three. So there's one more room to add in another picture. If you were to tap this, you can see that the picture is arranged left and right. And then it actually taps out just like that. So you can also go over here just like that and then choose uh, the layout of your choice just like that. So go over here. There's more room. So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring in something like a vertical type of a setting right over here where the uh, where uh, the text is in the center so I can also add in picture later on if I want to on the center portion but anyways I'm gonna leave it as it is just like this tap it again and it'll switch places as you can see right there so once you're happy with the placing I'm just gonna press done I want it in the center so I just press done another thing that you can work with is a resizing tool right here so you can resize to any so you can actually go to custom again and resize it according to what you want i'm going to press cancel but in my case i'm just going to select something like instagram or something like snapchat and you you see that the uh, way everything arranges is actually different now uh, and you can also use one of these preset if you want to so i'm just going to stick to this one and i'm going to press done just like this then on the top right you have the palette right over here right now you see that the colors are a bit dull but if you were to actually press this uh, icon right here that is the shuffle icon you can see that the colors actually rotate around based on the color palette you can also go over here and choose the custom pa color palette right here so on the left side on the bottom left side you can see these sliders like icon and if you were to actually click it you can select the color ranges so let's say you select this one you can select the color range you can tap on one of the colors and then the color shade tap on one of the colors then the color shade tap on one of the colors color shade colors color shade and you can see that it quickly affects everything out you can also work with swatches right over here just like this and then work around with different swatches right here so you can click on this um um, this color right here select a swatch you can click on this color right here select a swatch so another way to actually select a color you can also enter hex codes so if you know how to work with hex code let's say for example I want to add in hex code red so a total red is ff0000 and there you go there's there you go you can add in hex code like that as well I'm gonna press done so that's how you add a custom uh, custom color color swatch but you can also select one of these and everything gets applied just like that so let me just select one of these so you can see that there's pre-made uh, type of a color swatch over here which gives a different look to your image so you can actually go over here you have some modern you have some bold and you have some elegant right over here just like this so I'm just going to go over here on to the modern design and I'm going to select something like this and I'm going to shuffle this out until this looks a bit good.
Okay, I don't really like this color scheme. Let's go for this one. So this one seems okay in my case. I can also shuffle it out. In my case, I want the text to really stand out a bit, just like that. Click it again, and there you go. So once you're happy with this, just press the Done button. And over here, there's the Design icon right over here as well. But anyways, before we go on to the design, let's go to the resize, uh, not the resize, but the layout option right here. Another thing that you need to know is the spacing of the layout. So you can increase the border, as you can see. So once you increase the border, you actually see that uh, there's a bit of a spacing. But anyways, there's a lock right here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to unlock that out. So on the top side, you can see the border. If I were to increase this, you can see that the edges actually space out a bit. And if I were to click on cells, um, I mean tap on cell and move it, you can see that there's a spacing on the cells right here. So I, I want a spacing on the cell, not the border. You can also work with the color. And what that does is changes the color of what is there in an empty space. So I can have something like a black right there. You can have something like a blue and so forth, as you can see. And they give a unique look. So in my case, I want to have something like a brown, just like this. And I'm going to press done. Now you can see that is how you can work around with uh, the spacing. And then finally, we have the design right over here. So you can work around the different designs. So you can actually go over here, tap it, and there you go. You actually have a different design, but I don't want this. I'm just going to press cancel. So I'm going to go into design and there's Brandify right here. So now th this is what a uh, premium subscription actually has. You can actually go over here and choose a number of presets that you can use. So you just tap on this and you have a different design right over here. You just go to design, select one of the templates, uh, that many templates, and then click on it again to have your variations of it. So you want to save time designing everything on your own, then you can actually do this. Hey, this is actually quite good. So I'm just going to stick to this and I'm going to tap this again right over here. So this one does not have variation. So the ones which has variation actually has this tapping option right over here. So it actually pops up just like that. So I'm just going to go over here and tap this one out. This is the one I really like. So I'm just going to press done and there you go. That's how you design everything. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that the animation is still there. So now uh, what I can also do is I can uh, add more elements. So I can go to add and you can see that I can add in text. I can add in photos, icons and logos. So if I were to go to text, I can type in something like wow. And I'm going to press the tick mark right over here. And there you go. There's the text. And you can see that you can even edit that out. We're going to see that in a while. I can add in uh, something like a photo. So I can add in more photos. So I'm going to use the gallery again. So I'm going to use this AC remote and I'm going to add this in. So you can see that the AC remote has been added in over there. I can add in icons over there as well. So this is more like you can set for icon and add them in. You can also go over here and add in logos, but this is more of a premium feature, just like this. So now um, you might not be seeing any icons right now because I'm not connected to the internet. So you do have to be connected to the internet to actually get some of the, those features, but I, I'm, I don't want to use it now. Anyways, now in order to edit this even further, what you can do is you can tap on individual uh, elements right here and then work around with this. Let's say, let's tap on the stop image and here you can see the handle. So I can actually drag this down and you can see that I can resize the image. I can actually tap on the image and actually move them in. I can actually use two fingers and do like a zoom in uh, gesture and you can see that I can zoom in. I can click and drag it and range out on where I want the picture to be. I can go over here, resize this to be equal just like this and resize it wherever I want. So I can tap over here and replace the object. I can also use two fingers and then rotate this around as well. So just use two fingers and then uh, rotate this around just like you use the gesture on your mobile phone. There's also the shapes that you can work with. So you can expand this or contract this just like this. You can also go over here, expand this, contract this. And over here, you see a bunch of icons like there is the rotation over here as well. So you want to give it this look, you can do that. So wow, over here, and you can expand this, contract this. So let's see some options over here as well. So once you tap on to the uh, images over here, you can see that there's edit, 
replace or delete so you can replace it with something else over here so i'm going to go to the gallery so let's say i want to uh, replace it out uh, with something like this one the two to tube and you can see that that has been replaced I, I am just simply going to cancel it and I'm going to just delete this picture altogether. So I'm going to say delete photo or the cell. So it asks me whether I want to delete the photo or the cell. If you delete the photo, it deletes just the photo. So just like this, um, I'm going to say delete the photo. So it deletes the photo itself. If I want to delete the cell, then I, if I were to go over here, delete it and delete the cell, um, then, then it deletes the entire cell. But here, the photo cell is still there. So you can still replace it with another photo over here, just like this. And there you go. You still have the photo right over there. So you can also then go to the looks and apply filters from there. So you can choose filters onto uh, separate images and um, uh, apply blur. There's also enhancing options right over here for the photo. So let me just expand this out. And let's see the contrast option. Contrast is the increase and decrease of the difference between black and white. So you can work around with that. You can increase the brightness of the picture right over here, as you can see. And you, you can work around with the highlights and shadows as well of the picture. So now, in order to clearly see it, I'm just going to go back first and I'm going to move the, these uh, text down. So I'm going to select this picture right over here. And then in Enhance, you can see that uh, Contrast can actually increase the difference between black and white. So you can just increase this out, press done. Brightness increases the brightness, overall brightness of the picture. Highlights, in other hand, only affects the bright areas. So if I were to work around with the highlights, you can see that it affects only the sky and not the other parts. Shadows, on the other hand, work around with the dark objects. So you can really make something stand out just like this. So that press done to actually work around with that. Another thing that you can work with is saturation. That's the amount of color pop that you have in the picture. So as I increase it, you can see that there's a color pop. Decrease it, there's black and white picture. So I'm just going to increase this out really well for the color pop. And then there's warmth. So if you were to decrease it, uh, what happens is that you get much more of a cooler look. And if you were to increase it, you get much more of a warmer look. So I'm just going to go for the cooler look and press done. The sharpen right over here. So if you were to really sharpen it out, you can see that it is really sharp. And if you were to bring it down, you get a softer type of a look. So let me just increase the sharpness. I do not want to sharp it, sharpen it too much because it start look, starts looking very, very nasty. So once you're happy with the level of correction you have, you can simply press done. So this is also a photo editing app, as you can see right there. So that's how you edit an image. And now let's work around with editing text. So you can see that I have a text right here. Let's just double tap this and I am going to edit this. So I'm going to double tap it. And once I double tap it, I can change it. So I'm going to say tutor tube right here. So tutor tube, press the correct bar. And there you go. So you can simply work around with this. And so you can go over here and then edit it out. So you can see that you can delete this. You can duplicate this. You can also select multiple text just like this, as you can see, and then delete and align it together. So multiple texts are there and you can see that you can left align it. You can center align it, right align it. You can top align it. You can align it uh, just like that, according to what you want. You can also edit it, duplicate it, and you got two more just like this. So I'm just going to delete this out, press delete, and both of them have been deleted. So let me just work with one for now. So I'm going to increase this in size and bring it down. So now um, the editing option for this one is color. So if you were to go to color, you can see that you can select two colors. So you can go for custom color from the left side, just like uh, we did with the uh, background right over there. And then select the other swatch and do the custom color over here as well, just like this. So you can select any color you want over here. And then you can work around with the swatches and select the swatches as well from over here. And then you can also enter the hex code just like for the background and press done. You can press this button on the bottom to shuffle it out to actually invert it. And also you can select from one of these presets right over here, just like this. So work around with one of the presets that's done. Another thing you can do is select the font. So there are different types of fonts which are available. So you can just click on it 
and you suddenly have different fonts just like this so you want this type of a font you can select that out so you can also go for different sort of a font and language right here you can also work with adobe fonts and even add your own font if you have the habit in your phone another thing that you can work with is the shape so this is the default shape right now you can also have no shape you just, just can have a text right there or you can go for a background just like that uh, or no background you can go for different shapes for different style of the text here as well you can see that it fills up the whole background you can have a circle right over here and these are the different settings of um, types of shapes that you can actually use and then work around with this so you, this is actually really well so all that text is, is a one click as you can see right over here so you can also go over here on the social uh, network type of site of the icons right over here just like this so i'm just going to stick to it with this and increase the size another thing you have is the effects so there's no effect right now there's something like a transparency effect you can also click on it to actually get more type of an effect and there's a bit of a shadow going on there as well so you can go for the different type of effects like combine and everything else just like this so once that's done you can work around with the size so you can increase or decrease the size it's just like dragging around manually over here by pressing on these points over here as well you can also match to actually uh, figure it out for itself but anyways i'm just going to increase it because i do not want it to match another thing is align so you can magical line right here Magic Align actually tries to figure it out itself. So if you were to align it somewhere, uh, then sometimes it works. So you can left align it, you can center align it. Magic Align is actually, actually works well when you have multiple text. So let's try to do that with Duty Tube right here. So let's just double click. And then I'm going to say lessons just like this. And I'm going to press the tick mark. And over here, there's the Duty Tube lesson as you can see. And I'm going to increase its size over here. So just increase its size and in align. If I were to press magic, you can see that the tutor tube and lessons are aligned in the same way. If I were to do left align, you can see that the lessons is on the left align. Then it arranges tutor tube and lessons to be the same size. So I can left align it. I can center align it over here. I can right align it. So let's just do magic align, which just uh, makes everything balance out. Another thing that you can work with is the opacity. So you can decrease the opacity to make it more transparent. That is the background, of course. So you can actually decrease uh, the opacity just like that. You can also work around with the spacing. So you can increase the letter spacing right over here or make it more compact just like that. You can work around with the line spacing. That is the top and bottom letter spacing. You can also do the shape spacing right over here. That works with the outline border. There's also the order right over here. So you can work around with the order. So that actually is like a layer. So you can see the wow right here. So let me just bring this up. You can see that tutor tube is at the top and you can see that the number of option is two. That is meaning that there are two layers. So I can actually drag this down as well and it goes beneath that. So you can see that this is a very neat piece of an app right there, which gives you a lot of designing options. And once you're happy, you just press done. And there you go, you have your final design so these are the options which are available uh, for uh, your spark post design so if i were to press the play button you see the animation as well just like that so on the top there's the share button on the top right which you can use to share it in social media or email or you can uh, save it in your mobile phone by using this download like uh, icon button right here simply tap it and you can see whether you want to save it as a PNG file or a video. So if you want the animation, you do have to save it as a video, but I'm simply going to save it as PNG because I simply want uh, the picture right over there. So it's preparing the post. It is processing everything out so that it can actually save uh, the file for me. So it's preparing the post right over there. And now it has saved it. So it has saved it on my gallery. So I'm just going to go over here onto my gallery. And you can see that I'm accessing my gallery now. And over here, you can see this. So if I would tap this, you can see that this is what I actually uh, generated from my Spark Post app. So you can see that you can make quick graphic designs on the go by using this app. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.